Brazilian federal police at the home of former President Jair Bolsonaro on Thursday. Police confiscated Bolsonaro's passport, and search warrants were carried out against several members of his inner circle. Bolsonaro and his former aides are accused of plotting a military coup to remain in power after his presidential defeat in October of 2022. And I saw, I saw as well a lot of coup d'etats, eh? coup d'etats, attempts to just overthrow governments, Togo, Brazil, yeah? Our next story is from Africa, from the West African nation of Togo. On Monday, Togo adopted a new constitution. They moved from a presidential to a parliamentary system. On the face of it, it sounds like a good thing. The presidential system has often been exploited, used to impose a dictatorship in many parts of Africa. So a new system with the parliament in charge should be a good thing. But in the case of Togo, that may not be the case. Critics say this move will actually benefit Togo's president, For Nasing Bey, whose family has ruled the country for 57 years. Togo's new system may prolong his grip on power. So critics are calling this a constitutional coup. We begin from one of the smallest nations in Africa, Togo, where lawmakers in Lome approved changes to the constitution linked to the presidential term limits and how presidents are elected, which some opposition politicians and civil society groups have denounced as a constitutional coup. The Democratic Republic of Congo Army claims to have thwarted an attempted coup near the office of the president in Kinshasa on Sunday. Four people, including the coup leader, has been killed. The country's army has also arrested 50 others involved in the rebellion, including three American citizens. As per reports, gunshots were also heard near the president's office in the early hours of Sunday. The bid was led by a Congolese man, Christian Malanga. Malanga was a naturalized American citizen and his son was also amongst the attackers. The army spokesperson general said that American, Congolese and British man was part of the planned coup. 